Hi, I'm Samantha Miller, Agronomy Information Specialist here in Atlanta, Indiana. And joining me today is Willie Albrecht, and he's here representing FOR and the Samco system. Um, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, we just kind of got rolling here, just developing a machine to lay this mulch film on row crops, mostly corn. Perfect, and what does FOR stand for? Film on row. Film on row, and you're working with a Samco biodegradable mulch product. So walk me through the rationale behind this. What we're after is we're trying to lay down this biodegradable mulch film to create more heat units, to put the seed in a perfect environment, technically kind of like a greenhouse, where it never has a bad day. All right, perfect. So we're here in Atlanta, Indiana on May the 8th. It's our first day planting our PFR plots here. Um, the goal for this product is not to plant in May. What would be the ideal planting for, you, for this product? As early as possible. So we're from central Wisconsin. As soon as you can get out on the field and roll, ground temperature, air temperature really isn't a factor. Oh, fantastic. So tell me some success stories from testing this in Wisconsin last year. So last year we ran a different machine, but kind of the same principle. Um, We've seen some huge yield increases, uh, some places 50 bushel up to over 150 bushel. That's fantastic. And what were, what were your planning dates last year? Uh, we were the 29th of April. Okay, fantastic. Pretty early. So if I'm going to apply this product on my farm, I've already made my planter pass. And here in Atlanta, we planted that corn this morning. And I'm following it up with your biodegradable film product. Do I need to make any other allowances? Do I need to change my population, my seeding depth, anything like that? Well, we're gonna, we're not really gonna change populations, not seeding depth. We're gonna go about that as normal. We're gonna plant though, and then we're gonna have to spray because we need to get the herbicide down below the film before the weeds and the plants come up because if the corn likes to grow, the weeds like to grow. So are there other places on the planet that this is popular? Ireland's very popular. There's spots in China, um, pretty much all throughout Europe. There's nooks and corners where they're using this kind of system. Guess that's why the film is green? Yeah, <laughs> that's just to distinguish how fast it degrades and uh, the holes in, in the film. Great, so walk me through that. This is a perforated film product, so that keeps it from getting too hot underneath, I hope? Yeah, it needs to breathe, you know, to let air in and out. There's different perforations for different climates, um, different times of the year. Right now we're running one with a little bit bigger slot. It's called an MD film. It's just to let a little bit more heat out because it is a little bit warmer down here than well, what we're used okay, to. Okay, so I imagine that allows all those microbial communities to continue their gas exchange, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a huge benefit and the research hasn't even gone into what it does on the microbial end. You know, we're looking at the yield end, but nobody's really even got into that, that side of it yet. Fantastic, and you mentioned it's biodegradable. So will I see this persisting in my field in the fall and next spring? Uh, by spring, it should be gone. Um, if you do a tillage pass in fall, if there's any left, it's little minute pieces, kind of like shredding apart some paper. Nothing, it doesn't blow around. It's not stuck in the neighbor's line fence. Great, fantastic. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming all the way down from Wisconsin to help us get started. For everybody tuning in online, thank you. Be sure that you like and subscribe. If you have any questions for us, shoot them to us in the comments using the hashtag AskPFR.